Hey guys, welcome back to the Chemistry Behind Cosmetology. I am Bryce Harrow. I'm coming to you today at Atlanta Tech, right? So what we're going to be studying today is how to do a nine panel for a basic perm. So that entails, you got to have your crime, you got to have your double drape for your chemical draping, right? So the first thing is to do what? Sanitize. Sanitize your hands, right? So this is a part of hair care. This is chemically altering the hair, right? So that's what we actually designed it for. So as you can see, the client's hair is half dry, right? In order to manipulate hair, the hair needs to actually needs to be saturated. You saturate like so, right? Do not allow the nozzle to touch the hair. Protect your client when you spray by bracing your hand with the hair, okay? Do not do this, this is improper, okay? So learn how to control whatever product that you're using and know the product that you are using, right? You with it, you for it. So your takeaway today is just basically making sure that you practice safety and protection with disease control um, properties as well. Remember, this is a chemical that you're getting ready to perform. This is the very first step to a basic perm service, okay? So now that we have saturated, comb all the hair back like so. So again, your takeaway is just learning how to nine pound, which just simply means mapping the hair form, okay? So, at this point, you're going to tilt your client back like so. Remember, keep your rod closed, fastened. You're going to use the bridge of the nose using the center of the rod, right? Place it in the center of the head form. You're going to use either one of these grooves, left or right, to what? To make your party. Okay. After you have done that, <clears throat> place it back at the center of the head form. Go to the opposite side. Right? Turn her to the mirror to inspect for balance. Would you say that straight? I would. At this point, turn her sideways. Spin her up. Place the rod the long way. At that point, still using the grooves or ridges to create your first panel. Make sure that when you're ready to create your knot to wind all the hair in this panel. Like so. Okay. Follow the head form like so. Make sense? At this point, we're no longer using this section, right? You can clip it away. Just for now, loosely. Go to the opposite side, right? Do the exact same thing. Remember, the head form is going to get narrow in the nape area. So let's make sure this is straight. Now, her head form is a little wide. So let's take some of this section out. Use the ear, the middle of the ear, to create this section. This is panel number two. Okay? Follow your map. Comb all of the hair together. Using your all-purpose comb, okay? Not your rat tail.
let's check for balance. Would you agree? Mm -hmm. Yes. Make sure all the hairs intertwined. And I'm like Barnes. I love to use the butterfly sections, or clamps, clips. Now, remember, if your drape falls, what you do? Redrape. Reposition. If it drops, falls on the floor, what you do? Get new towels. Get new towels. So, the head form curves and turns, right? Turn to the side, always working in front of your section. Our natural instincts tell us to go straight down, right? But if you comb the hair back, like so, what do you see that's happening with the hairline? It comes to a C. It's curving, right? And it's curving what? Backwards. Anytime something is curving backwards, that means the curve is going to the back of the head form. If it's curving forward, that means what? The curve is going towards the nose. So everything that lives in front of the ear is the front of the head. Everything that lives behind the ear is behind the head, right? Cool. So comb the hair backwards with a curve. I'm gonna add a little more moisture to this to keep it pliable, which means wet, okay? You see how when the hair is pliable, not overly saturated, you can manipulate the hair easy. So pay attention to that. So because the head form is curving, can you see me? The rod has to sit diagonally, not forward. Okay? It has to sit diagonally. Still using the curve or the grooves in the rod. Curve with it, right? Now, in this area, you see it kind of went outward. We have to curve and clean that up because it needs to sit with what bone that lives behind the ear? Metatonal. Mastoid. Oh, goodness. <laughs> You're going to get it. It is a hard word, but let me sit in front of it so I can really see what's happening. There we go. Now we have a good conversation. It doesn't matter which way you go, but I'm going to go ahead and start section five or four. This section is eight. So let's recap. <clears throat> Summary and review. So you basically have completed a nine method for a basic perm wrap. With a crazy draping. <laughs> okay? At this point, I'm just gonna sit this to the side, right? So when you finish, your nine method, a nine panel, should look like so, which is this, right? So, Christian, does this answer your question? Yes. Yes? Does it mirror our diagram? Yes. Cool. Are there any other questions? When you're twisting it, like, I see that you like to twist it forward. Does that have anything to do with how the curls are falling? No. So, that's my rhythm. Mm -hmm. You have to find your rhythm. So, what if you twist it to the left? Mm -hmm. I'm right-handed. Okay. So, everything is going to make sense to me being right-handed. You know? But if you go left, there's neither here nor there. <coughs> you just have to find your rhythm. Okay. The most important is making sure that all the hair... It's twined together to not be loose, okay? 
always work clean. Thank you, like, and subscribe at Be Wang Academy. We got you. Peace. <laughs>